smiling at each other too, knowing that this was going to be the case. Oh, and they trade. Oh my goodness, what a star! Look at this! Beautiful Chekhov. Lapalus had an ability advantage. Now he has immobilized the opponent and made that advantage bigger. So he was the mobile fighter. Now he's fighting a guy who can't move well. You ready? You ready? Let's go. And off we go. They were both smiling at each other too, knowing that this was going to be the case. Oh, and they trade. Oh my goodness, what oh, a star! Oh. Look at this. Beautiful check hooks. Yeah, jeez. And the crowd responding immediately. But here it shucks to the back. So they, that was only 30 seconds. <laughs> and they both just fired away at each other. So he'll try to use gravity as his friend here to shake this man off. He can attack the left arm as he falls off. Let's see if he does. Nope. Now it's got a hold of the right one, though. No. Might go for the foot. Can he stabilize him? Oh, yep. and the arm yep. bar! Yeah, got it. Already. That was incredible! Yeah, just over a minute! What oh has happened? In the right state, and he just lit himself up a little. And you see it in his aggression, moving forward with a right jab and then the left kick to the body. An unspoken agreement where when we get up, we separate. Lapalus uh, just making a mistake, and Sayevsky immediately pouncing. And he's got his man against the ropes. He's going to slam him down there. So that was a much better position for Lucas to be able to get in and elevate. Now we see Lapalus' le uh, left shin was inside, trying to make space to stand up. But now he surrenders this position and accepts the guard position. Where, and so what happens here is Lucas cannot advance that leg right yet. Now he may be able to. But what he'll do instead is be heavy on the upper body. Now uh, Damien is looking to sweep him here, where he will rotate himself from his right hip to his left hip and reverse this position. He's trying to access the back here with 10 seconds, now seven seconds remaining. So yes, again in a dominating position. If you're Lucas, you would just love to have a shot here. Land one elbow or punch, but we don't have all the information. We only have the moments we're seeing here. We don't have the experience and the learning that they're doing. Steve, oh, fly knee and then a left foot again to the head by Lapalus. So yes, he's shaken there, I think. Lapalus certainly got Sayeski. Lapalus is exploiting the belief system that the world offers about keeping your foot, your front foot on the, on the outside against the southpaw. Had a mobility advantage. Now he has immobilized the opponent and made that advantage bigger. So he was the mobile fighter. Now he's fighting a guy who can't move well. And we cannot overstate this. These are this is just biology. The rib cage, the forearm, the the the, the, uh, the bicep, the chin, the neck, the ear. The body gets smashed up, and then you're asking it to move, and it will not. And I don't know if you saw there, Robert, I the did. referee telling Lucas to move a little bit. Another knee to the face there by Damien Lapalus. There's eight seconds left in this second round, but Damien Lapalus is all oh. over Lucas. So yes, huge knee to the face. He's going for a Lucas somehow still on his feet. He's still fighting and he stopped it the, the referee. referee think has stopped the fight